Hey everyone, for today's topic I want to share with you my thoughts on love at first sight. This is an interesting concept that seemingly a lot of people believe in, but I'll be honest, I don't really believe in love at first sight. And it's not because I'm some negative Nancy or whatever, it has way more to do with my definition of love and it just making absolutely no sense for someone to be able to love someone at first sight given that definition. So the way that I define love is basically those really strong feelings you have for someone that you deeply care about, someone that you've grown to care about on that deep level where you almost can't even picture life without them, nor would you even want to ever have to experience that because you care about them so much that you want them around as much as possible. Maybe not all the time, but as much as possible because you greatly enjoy their company and having them a part of your life. That to me is what love truly is. And of course, with that definition, it can apply to all sorts of different people and relationships. You of course have platonic love with maybe some of your really close friends and family members where yet again, it'd be difficult to imagine life without them because you just have such strong bonds with them. And then of course there's romantic love where it's the same thing as that platonic love only now you get to do naughty business with them in the bedroom and that sort of thing. And you just have stronger feelings for them because you connect in different ways. So I can't picture someone being able to love someone else with that definition at first sight. It doesn't make any sense because you kind of have to know someone pretty well to develop that level of real love, at least by my definition. So. I don't believe in love at first sight because how could you ever have such strong feelings for someone that you only just met, if you even met them, right? Like usually love at first sight, you may not have even talked to the person, you just kind of saw them and were so smitten with how attractive they were that I would argue you're probably feeling lust more than anything where you just are like, holy crap, they're so attractive, I want to do naughty things with them in the bedroom, but like, do you actually want to tackle life with them? You don't know them. Would you take a bullet for them or push a push a push them out of the way and get hit by a car for them? Because with that real form of love, you would basically be willing to do anything to protect that person because you care about them to that extent. That's why so often parents will do incredible feats to protect their children. Like you hear about mothers lifting a freaking car off of their kid if like something some tragic accident happens and the kid is pinned underneath it adrenaline has a lot to do with that but like they're doing that out of love or you hear about like parents like basically protecting a kid with their bodies if like something's falling overhead and like there's so many things people do out of love that would you do those things for a stranger you barely even know just because you find them really attractive would you? <laughs> like, how many people believe in love at first sight? Would you take a bullet for that person you only just met and don't even know? Would you? I don't know, but that's, that's why I don't believe in love at first sight, because it just doesn't make any sense from a, a scientific viewpoint. Now, if you'll bear with me here, I'll delve into some spiritual aspects, which may be another way of describing this, and probably the only way that would makes sense because scientifically yeah it makes no sense to me whatsoever <laughs> it just doesn't compute like maybe the simps or incredibly desperate people would be willing to do that for a stranger but most people who you know work on themselves and well, actually i can't even say that because most people do not work on themselves <laughs> but the average person would not be willing to put their life on the line for a stranger even if they found them very attractive attractive enough to say it was love at first sight so it's not really a thing that makes sense to me. But delving into spirituality, maybe there could be an explanation here, but you'll have to bear with me because this is unscientific. This is an unscientific realm that we can't verify, we can't prove, but a lot of people do believe in some spirituality that would give them the notion that maybe souls are real and that we all have souls. Now I'll run forward basically assuming that this is a case. Yet again, we can't prove it and 
I honestly personally don't even really know if I believe this. I would like to believe it. It sounds nice, but I don't know. We, we don't know. We can't explain these things, right? I tend to be agnostic on things that we can't explain because we can't explain them. We don't know, right? So I just choose to say, hey, it could be the case or it could not be the case. Who knows? I tend to be that way even with like the idea of a, a creator or like a god, although I never view it in the way that religion labels God because that makes no sense. Like us made in his image. Why would he be a he? Why would he have any gender? I would think if there was a creator, it'd be like all the genders that exist out there. And I don't mean like all the ones that all these people are creating out of thin air. I mean, the real ones, be, I'd probably be better off to say, it'd be all the sexes that exist. But yeah, so anyway, I was like branching off into territory that's unrelated. But my point is, I choose to just not really make a conclusion on these things that we can't explain. So I'll run forward assuming that souls are real. Maybe this could lend some credence to love at first sight because if souls are real and there is like this realm of souls where we can encounter other souls and interact with them and bond with them, then maybe love at first sight could actually be a situation where you and that other person and your soul forms already have a bond from before you became a human in this physical realm. Maybe that could explain it because scientifically it makes no, no sense to me whatsoever. But if souls are a thing, maybe that explains it. Where you just have that prior connection with this person in your human form, you can't remember it because, I mean, our, we're only equipped to deal with this physical world and everything within it, right? Like we can't fathom anything that would be immaterial because we're not immaterial ourselves. It'd be like, you can't think of anything that this human form isn't able to comprehend or process. It's just like try to imagine a four dimensional object. You can't really do it because we're only made for three dimensions. We can understand everything that three dimensional and below 2D and 1D, but we can't fathom things beyond that because we're not equipped for it. So you wouldn't be able to obviously recognize a soul in someone else because you're not tapped into that. You're in the physical, not the immaterial. But if the immaterial is a thing, yet again, can't prove it, but if it is, maybe you could recognize a soul that you already knew from that point somehow. I don't know. So that would be the only thing I could think of that would give credence to love at first sight because if we are, if we do have those immaterial forms, I imagine they experience emotions and whatnot because that, that's not a material thing. Like you don't, you don't need to, emotions aren't physical, right? Like, so it would make sense we'd be able to bond in that way from that realm. So maybe you'd still be able to recognize a soul that you already previously knew. So yeah, I don't know. That's just, I don't even honestly know if I believe in that myself, but like I said, I tend to remain agnostic on things like that. So I'll open the door to that possibility. So yeah, that's, um, those are pretty much my thoughts on love at first sight. Scientifically, I don't believe in it at all, but if there's more than science, maybe that's the thing. Who really knows? None of us can, can figure that out. None of us can ever. Yeah, so there you go. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't lose you with the spiritual talk if you're incredibly scientific and won't believe in anything that can't be explained by science because I know there's a lot of people out there like that. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little <laughs> journey in this video. But if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like on it and I will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!